What's up, fam? You're watching G Live Game Night Discussions, and tonight we are going to be covering overused themes in board games. My name is Leo, your host. As always, we're joined here by Willow and Gabe. Willow, kumo sa you doing? It's all good, bro. Keep playing lang. Masaya, masaya tayo ngayon kahit uh, we're still in lockdown. You you gotta spend time with your family this time. Uh, take advantage of it. Yeah, and it's it's the holidays, so yeah, welcome yep. to December. Winter from wherever you might be. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Gabe, how are you? Hey, um, it's me, your friendly neighborhood cat, Tita. Instead of collecting board games like I usually do, I collect <laughs> cats now. We have 19 cats and counting. Wow. 19? 19. 19. Yeah. Oh, Instead they... of saving money for buying board games, I'm spending money for cat food. They breed. I mean, happily so. They breed. Oh, I only have one and he's pretty expensive already. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> back to uh, our main topic for the show. We're talking about overused themes in board games. Um, just like in movies, no? Or like in uh, the silver screen, uh, the small screen, or even in books. Sometimes when someone starts a trend, most people in the realm follow in the space. Because like, oh, pwede pala yon. Or, oi, mabenta pala yon. And then they all jump in, right? Today, we're going to be talking about these themes. And hopefully we'll figure out how exactly they came to be this way and maybe even a way to kind of revitalize how we see them because sometimes when we think about oh a game based on so and so we've seen it everything's been done but maybe through this episode you guys might have a change of heart i'll go ahead and start my overused theme would be zombies no doubt in the past <laughs> decade there have been dozens of zombie games released if not yearly at least the ones that we know of the ones that kind of stick like again zombie side dead of winter zombies zombie city bayon zombie mo zombie basta the one city where of horror city of horror that's what it's called city of horror, 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 city of horror yeah. zombie 15 all of these games zombie dice there i even say but technically that's not a the not zombie <laughs> themed as much but yeah zombies um People love zombies, man. That's that's my overused theme. Um, tiny epic zombies, right? I just looked at my <laughs> shelf. Tiny epic zombies. And dami nila, no? And who's to say where it's gonna end? And it's still the same with movies in TV. Like, nobody ever says, let's not do zombies anymore. People are still trying to make zombie anything. So that, that that's my overused theme. Uh, do you guys feel tired of this theme as well? Or is it okay? Pa naman? Oh. I wrote a paper about zombies and it, as a literary theme, actually. So yeah, I'm pretty over it. Same with horror, just generally speaking. And, but then yeah, it really says something about like the human condition. <laughs> like we are, we are the monsters, that kind of thing. I can I, that resonates with me. But then yeah, totally. Um, there are other aspects I think of like horror, maybe horror monsters that can be um, explored a bit more. You were saying, Willow? Yeah, for me, I, I wasn't even into the zombie craze. Uh, I never liked uh, gory stuff, mm. uh, but but mm. I've, I've I think uh, kaya siya prominent in like uh, in laluna in board games. I think because uh, when you say zombie, parang di ba pal, wala nang brain, so it's technically an AI lang, a stupid AI. It's a machine, so it just goes. Yeah, so it's easier mm. to program. Parang ganun, I think that's why they keep using it in games. Um, for uh, movies or series naman, I think mas madali manipul i-manipulate yung story when there's one, there's a character or certain characters or yung kalaban is programmed to do cer mm -hmm. certain things. Yeah. Well, now that that's we're trying thing. to make sense of it, no, I think one of the reasons why it's still around is because it's such a nice vehicle for, again, I think Gabe touched upon it, human nature and just the human condition. It's 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 both us and not us at the same time because zombies were once human. So parang it's, yeah. it's a nice like man versus man conflict, internal, external. Uh, and you just write the stories from there. Because again, you can play games that give you the power fantasy like Zombicide. And then you play games like Dead of Winter and you're just miserable. Yeah. So I guess that's why even designers and, and publishers are so comfortable with it. I'm pretty sure the renaissance of zombie games are, are you know, 
still to come. But uh, let's move on. What about you guys? What are your overused themes in board games? Let's start with Gabe. All right. Um, I don't know if you consider it a theme, but like party card games. Whenever there's an event and I help out gaming live and teach in board games or even back then in like in Dice and Dine in the board mm -hmm. game cafe. Of course, yeah, the go-to for like um, um, a non-gamer group of friends who just want to have fun would be like a party board game, uh, party card game. Mm -hmm. And but then yeah, after Cards Against Humanity, um, yeah, there was like a, a trend of that. And then there was like a tipping point where I was like, I'm super happy with Red Flags and Joking mm -hmm. Hazard, and just for the replayability, and compared to like. Yes, drop in thousands of pesos for like just more and more Cards Against Humanity expansions or like, uh, yeah, the meme game expansions. What, um, uh, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you mean? Exactly. Um, all well and good, which I'm um, super happy that they're around to be uh, gateway experiences and for lots of different people, like super accessible. But yeah, for me, um, yeah, I only really have. The voting game, Joking Hazard, Red Flags in my collection. I feel like it's overused because, again, it's so accessible. And <laughs> not to say that people who design these games or sell them primarily are lesser designers or lesser publishers. But yeah. I think it's just easier overall to produce. It's just easier yeah. overall to make it compared to like a game that's mechanically demanding that needs to be balanced. I don't know. Will, like, what's your take? Uh, for, for party games, I think it's the... Parang you're, you're share when you're designing. I think it's the more of the sh you're sharing your, the your humor. Parang ganon siya. But then uh, not everyone would get it, and not everyone would like to stay in that. Ano lang ng humor. I think yung theme uh, for Gabe would be yung yung party humor games like Cards Against Humanity. Na na na, ub na ubus na yung punchlines nyo. Pag na ubus mm. na yung punchline nyo, parang eh <laughs> yeah. kind of funny. Pero it's eh. <laughs> it's, so, it's so it's yeah. so finite it's so finite yeah yeah and i guess that's yeah. stressful because again you invested money into it and she said like oh yeah i keep buying cards against humanity but it'll come to a point that i've seen all the combinations and i've laughed at the same joke uh yeah. i totally understand i get it how about you willow what are your um overused themes a lot of people are gonna hate me for this but uh i think space theme games Nah, the four X, the four X thing is overused. What, what, what um, games? Can you give an example? Uh, I would say, I, I, do you really want me to get hate from uh, fanboys? You can ex explain it, <laughs> Just try to try to I'll put a disclaimer. I'll just it. Yeah. So, parang uh, for me, because parang four X without doing anything else, dun sa game, parang eh, it, it's it's the same thing. I have to uh, make my ship. I have to travel this. I have to exterminate this, and then. Mm -hmm. Get points and then I win. Walang walang bagong walang bagong thing. Usually, pag uh, space space mm -hmm. exploration, siguro may caveat na exploration, not like space theme totally lang. I mean, yeah, I get it. Na parang space is something na magandang I explore. Madaming pwedeng uh, fantasy ish, pero kasi we don't know it if it's fantasy yet or not. <laughs> Kaya maganda siyang theme. So. But but yeah, for me lang, uh, I I got tired of like uh, spaceships moving, or like uh, astronauts. That, that, for me lang, maybe maybe some may pinapanood ako ngayon na masyado siyang uh, <laughs> masyado na nagugulo yung mind ko. But uh, yeah, space space. I'm I'm over space. Yun na lang. You're over space. <laughs> over the final frontier. Yeah. I, but gusto ko pa mag inner space kasi mag outer space. Like. The ocean, you mga ganon, mm. like something oh, no, we can we can really which see. which has recently been been being built upon. Now, there are games that are like all about mm -hmm. what's in the earth than what's yeah. out there these days. Hmm. I, I don't, don't know. know. Siguro lang mas mas madali lang may confirmation sa atin in the near future na yung inner earth natin kasi yung my life in other I, I, in, oh. in other space. <laughs> I Does that mean you're not really into like space or like sci-fi generally because it's still more like fictional or like a fantastical yes. thing? Yeah. Rather that's than like the is. science, and, like the actual. Yeah, I think that's that's my take lang. I'm not yeah. into like super, parang oh that's that's too much to be real parang ganon. Hmm. I don't know. I might be skirting this because I want to hear from <laughs> Gabe first, no, just to be safe. Uh, are you spaced out, Gabe? Or, or I mean, are you? 
do you feel like the space theme is overused? Not to put you like on the spot, Willow, but then like I'm the kind of person that grew up on like Star Trek. I grew yeah. up on like watching Star Trek Voyager, and my mom grew up on Star uh, the original Star Trek and Enterprise and stuff. So, um, I think I although I do totally get that the 4X is 4X games are more like a real like sub genre, like in um, um like in tabletop like role playing games, like wherein there's like it's a lot more tactical. And when there, but there's like, there's a potential for like the role playing, right? Or like the narrative kind of things, like, like in that kind of, in, in that particular hobby. So similarly, I totally get where you're coming from, where there's like, um, well, I was thinking of like uh, Space Cadets, which is which is like a co-op game. Actually, I think you'd really yeah, enjoy. Yeah, 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 exactly. Space Cadets is like space themed. It's in the name and stuff like that. Willow, does and, does the terraforming Mars? And like alien frontiers. Oh, that's is that space? Does that count as space? Or is it like, yeah? What do you think? Of How about Mission Red uh, Planet? Yung mga yan. I think the yung the sub the sub uh, category of the 4X you must uh, ayo ko. Okay, uh, that's what uh, you're tired me, of. Yeah, yeah. Terraforming Mars, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, ma magkakahit na naman ako dito. It's it's, yeah, it's okay. A, it's a cult it's classic. Too, yeah. Yeah, but. Too much, too much cards. I, I, I guess for me, because it, um, I, th I'm thinking about it now. Um, my favorite games are those na parang we experience here. Tapos you know the process, and then you can study the process, and then it translates to the game. So main case in point, ano, viticulture, you know, plant, plant, <laughs> get the vines. Uh, yeah. you, gusto ko yun eh. Yun yung gusto ko ano na na in real life I have. The, the game doesn't have to teach me that I need to plant grapes for me to get it. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. So it just makes sense. For me, hindi ko kayang it makes sense na parang, oh, I'm going to space at this many turns to. Right. And the fact that it keeps happening, that they keep publishing these things, just, yeah. I don't know, gets you a little uh, about mm -hmm. it. So again, if, if inaya ita, like, we don't bago binile, 4x na space game, magisip ka. Like, you'll, you'll think about it. Yes, I, I think about it. It's, <laughs> it's not that I don't want to play with you. It's just I don't want to learn something that I don't need to learn in real life. Okay, interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, but I guess we can now talk about the brighter side of things, right? If, if Gabe has had it with these like jokey gateway card games and Willow just does not want to hear about what people think about space, uh, what are overused themes that are good? Na kahit ilan pa yung ipublish in the next two, three, five years, you're still gonna play. Gabe, let's start with you. Uh, I, love a f I love a good food game. Um, all about food, love cooking, love eating, uh, love playing food games. So I actually have now, like when I think about it, and I'm looking at my games right now, like a working collection of like going, like being a tourist and then going to <laughs> um, like their local board game store and then asking them what's your local board game. More often than not, it's like food based. Like this one is a bit of show and tell. I don't know if this happens often in the show, but yeah. So Blocky Wars is something that I got in Greece, and and yeah, from this place that is pretty much the gaming library of Greece, and it's in Greek. <laughs> I still have to translate it. Have and you played it ever? No, but I've seen, uh, I, but I've seen lots of very well produced videos about it. And I fantasize about playing this all the time. <laughs> and, and then I get hungry for kebabs and similar like gyros. And I just end up eating. It's but then yeah, so you go. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, tempura is the other one that I have. Mm. I really want to... What I was saving up for was like food magnate. Food chain, food chain oh, magnate. Oh, yeah. Food chain, food chain oh, magnate. Food chain magnate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I love a good... Um, like a uh, heavy board game like that and it's okay. food based so yeah awesome. interesting now that you mention it i hindi ko na pansin na and dami pa lang food based games i was scratching my head like why 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 food based games there's not many but looking back like yeah there's um point salad there's oh, ro sushi roll sushi go. uh sushi go there's um tempura again there's this this new game that's like from cool mini right like with when you order food and it's like international. Foodies. There you go. See, so apparently there's so many. But I guess for Gabe, she's never gonna be outfooded. Um, how about you, Willow? What's a what's a theme that you're like 
Hmm, there's a lot of this, but I don't mind. Um, siguro it's more of the a uh, choose a fighter, then fight it out. Uh, type of games. Okay, siguro well, like. <laughs> yeah, Gabe get, did get her funny gateway card game, so I guess you can take like. <laughs> <laughs> so the game, game like unmatched, uh, mm-hmm. where you choose someone mm-hmm. and then you fight. Uh, for, for me, because hindi siya limited na mechanics ng game lang, so hindi ko siya napapagsawan. So even like I, I, I would still play a uh, smash up, because uh, you just bring someone else to the table. Um, I guess kung it's a theme, it's like theme naman a fighting game, diba? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think to be concise, mm-hmm. ano. Will I, correct me if I'm wrong. You you like the you know, the asymmetrical combat game? Yeah, yeah. There you go. There asymmetrical you go. combat no, game. Right. It's it's uh because it it means if they can put a lot of um fighters or characters, it means the system is good. The the main the the core system is uh mm-hmm. clean. Walang walang I, I'll take advantage of this. Nang paulit ulit. Walang siyang ganon. Eh. Mm-hmm. That's why I like fighting games. I see. I see. Uh, okay, fine. Since you guys have your own like little weird answer, <laughs> so do I. All right. Worker placements. I I love it whenever <laughs> a new mechanic comes out for worker placement, even if it like is so weird and it doesn't fit. And I'm mm-hmm. like, wow, pwede pa pala yon, right? Um, yeah. Mint works. Mint works. Is that mint works. Yeah, like it's such a simple little game, but I'm like, I've played. <laughs> Again, the likes of Western Kingdom. I played the likes of Champions of Midgard. All of these other, uh, you know, big box worker placements. Pero masaya pa rin ako at malit siya. Because again, mm-hmm. it's so impressive whenever you're able to take a, a mechanic like that and just stuff it into every single theme. So, again, I'm excited to start playing um, New World, a Century New World, because that's technically worker placement, right? Mm-hmm. Worker placement, yeah. Yeah, so so that's my answer. Um, it's a it's a little overused, yes, because again, it was the breakout uh, mechanic of what 15, 20 years ago, 10, 15. Like, masama tagal na. It was deck building. It was what deck building was like 10 years ago with with Dominion. Mm-hmm. So yep. bago yon worker placement. But even if how many worker placement games come out, I'm still excited for what they can do with the next one. That that's that's me. Um, but we'll close. Oh yes, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to. I was just wondering then if you consider worker placement a theme or a mechanic. Oh, um, just like uh, well, it's a mechanic. But since the topic is theme, I'm skirting that because you guys cheated me as well. You guys said, <laughs> no, I think it could, yeah, I think it could be both. Yeah, um, hindi siya worker placement as a mechanic. It's just you having workers. Yes. That's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. If ever someone can make like a worker placement, um, I don't know, World War game, that would be cool, right? Like, I'm looking forward to that if that does happen. Yeah, but to uh, hey, that's yeah. where we're going. All right, <laughs> since we did talk about overused themes all night, uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, close up this discussion with an underused theme. What's a theme that you know in the world of haha card games, in the world of exploring space? A theme that you guys are wondering why aren't more publishers making this, right? We'll start with you, Willow, because Gabe already <laughs> spilled the beans. It's a oh, no, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, team sports games in in general. Uh, I think there could be uh, really good uh, moments sa board games. Pag may team sports game, let's say soccer, basketball, uh, tas may real time aspects. It siguro kasi is mahilig ako sa sports. Kaya I really like the theme because it makes sense again. I like things that make sense. I'm not saying that the other games don't make sense, but it's even more just like a three-on-three uh, basketball game that makes sense. Hindi siya yung worker placement na you don't have to conserve energy. Uh, siguro you can put put mechanics like that, pero not to the point that it's not that fun. It's not a simulator, pero just enjoying sports in general. That's my ano. Um, if you've played or uh, if you, I don't know if you guys seen, I know, um, bottom of the ninth, baseball, baseball, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, that uh, that swing, tapos yung real time kayo yung kailangan mag roll ng dice until you get one of the sides, uh, simulates the batter running around the bases mm-hmm. and the, oh, the awesome. opponent getting the ball and bringing it to home base yeah. para hindi pag score, yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, that. That's, I think sports games. I mean, there's fantasy football. 
uh, where you draft stuff. There's um, Blood Bowl, Guild Bowl, Bowl, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. It's it's bitin, bitin pa siya for me. Yung games na ganun. It's very underused, I think. Sports te- team games. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I'm gonna just jump in on this game because that's my answer as well. Like <laughs> basketball, right? And I think the reason why it's so underused. <laughs> Is because yun nga, you you you're you're treading this very thin line of is it a simulation yeah. or is the are you using the theme of the game right are you using this so, this thing that's fam- familiar to a lot of people tapos ilalagay mo siya sa board game it's 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 a it's a gray area that not many people are good at or not many designers are ready to cross just yet kaya sobrang konti nila ng mga magaling mag execute non so here again we're gonna throwback to an episode or two uh, previous that has been published on this channel. Go ahead, check it out, guys. Um, I'm not sure which one that was, but real quick, Space Jam, all right? Make it happen, Space it Jam happen. board game. I think that's what's going to make the basketball game. Um, I don't know if it can be worker placement, though, but for sure, it's going to be a fun basketball game. Uh, last but not least, Gabe, let's hear from you. What's uh, that theme that you wish could be used more? I'm thinking, like, actually, like, jumping off of your um, answers, if there was a game, if there were more games marrying the theme and the mechanisms of at play, that would be super awesome. Like, for your, for like a sports theme game, I was thinking, is there anything that we can, that somebody can design around, like, kind of like Magic Maze in terms of like it being like real time mm-hmm. and like um, team based also? Um, Top of mind, my go-to game and that really marries um, mechanics and themes so well, like like it blew my mind so seamlessly, is uh, right here. Uh, and then we held hands, which I got um, oh. <laughs> on Game Live too. Yeah, totally. Like especially since it's not just like um, it's not just that um, I've got into. Uh, it's not just that it's a great litmus test for like potential significant others when you play this game, and um, because of like it's also th- it's also themed around like two people in a relationship and trying to like bridge communication gaps. Um, it's actually an abstract game in terms of like how it plays, but that sense of how uh, the way that you actually the winning strategy or this the strategy that would be more likely successful is also is also kind of like a metaphor about what it's trying to say about like working on a relationship and like communicating in a relationship yeah that's just really like super inspired that's what really hooked me honestly to like board games when more games that do that more games that do that Mm. totally Mm. i I think it's that and uh what's the other one um fog of love you. Right, Fog of Love is based on like um, like a relationship between two people, so it's also like a two-player mm. game, right? But it's very, um, for me, it's more, it's it, it leans more towards like a theme-based game because mm. um, it simulates. It's pretty much more of a simulation of a relationship and the struggles and like the follies and the triumphs of a relationship like by reading the cards and stuff and the scenarios that it gives you okay. and Did, rather than like mechanisms what yeah. if it wasn't um what if it wasn't themed that way what if it was themed elsewhere like it has a layer but it still does the same testing is that okay with you wow that's so true though i mean like i don't yeah, I don't think it might work though, especially as like as an experience. Like for me as the player who like discovered who was who discovered this game, um, it's not just the gorgeous art, um, and like it's not even about like winning or losing because then I don't think I've ever won this game. I think only once. It's do you, not like do I'm you gonna... really ever win though? <laughs> right, exactly. It's like <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but then but then what really hit me was that the very stra- it's it's since it's so it's so difficult it's so difficult to describe but since it's ba- it's not something it's not a kind of game that you can strip away the theme is is i guess what i'm going for mm-hmm. as in like if this was skin to be like um it doesn't even have to be like a romantic relationship right it's just like if if, if it was like if this was like a viking theme for example right or like the 
the the captain and the coach of the basketball team team yeah it's still about like communication gaps and like working through that and uh with like these two characters through this abstract like uh abstract like movement based game which is so interesting to me right yeah. right okay so i guess it's the the experience changes when you do that and that's what makes it so rare no that's what makes it so rare is the fact that you have to consider that and it's something that you personally are looking for i'm pretty sure other people as well so now we want to hear from you guys um what are some overused themes you think are out there in the realm of board games why they are such like why do people keep going back to these why do keep why do designers and publishers keep doing this and for underused let us know what games uh what themes do you wish to see in games more in the future all right on behalf of the g live game night crew of course we got gabe we have willow thank you so much for joining us and uh, if you haven't yet click subscribe if you enjoy the video click like and uh, we'll see you next time bye, bye.